Um, so here we go. Are there too many hearts on this screen? Do we think? There are. Okay, so she doesn't like it already. Um, Maybe. Am I allowed to talk now? Maybe. No, um, no, 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 But yet. the um, heart... The heart... <laughs> Go on. Oh, am I allowed to talk? The heart does kind yes. of mirror the, the quiff that your cockerel has got. Yeah, I did that on purpose. <laughs> Not. Mm. Okay. Um, so here we are on the screen. This is my this is my four-step process. Okay. We're helping people move to Portugal in 24. People still want to move to this wonderful country despite recent changes in this last year, most notable of which is the NHR tax regime, which we'll find out about its fate later on today. And we'll talk about that uh, on the webinar sessions tomorrow evening, of course, and on tomorrow morning show. Um, top left-hand corner, you can see uh, Bobby O'Reilly's approach to moving to Portugal through investment. Some of you who came here mm -hmm. to retire might as well be investing and starting a business here, given how busy you are. Bobby O'Reilly know, knows how to do that and um, has a whole process set up for helping people move to Portugal through the investment approach. Now, from our point of view here, this four-step plan uh, of hashtag PT24. Do you like what I did there, Mrs. M? And mm, I think it's yeah, the it's four good. C's, okay? So there are the basics okay. and uh, there are the extras. Because I'm trying to, as complex as all of this can become, I'm trying to simplify it, okay? So my first C is to commit. And if you sign up with gmpvip.com, um, we can have a 30 minute call, which will help you with the other three of these C's, which I'll tell you more about in just a moment. You'll have a private community. You'll have a whole stack of online resources. You remember on Monday, Bob saying, whoa, Carl, all that stuff over there at GMP VIP. I didn't have the time to look. Yeah. I have now. And it's amazing. So you get all of that. It's a good starting point. Mm. It connects you with a community here, which is the second C. Watch this morning show. Uh, come to a meetup that's happening at lunchtime today. Join a discovery weekend that's in Coimbra on the 9th and 10th. So we've got committing and we've got connecting. I think those are the first two building blocks when you're moving. Mm. We didn't have that, did we, Mrs. M, when we were thinking of moving to Portugal? All we had, I think, was um, Portugal, your Portugal. Uh, your Portugal <laughs> living the good life. One Facebook yeah. group, think, didn't we? Yeah. And asking at the cafe. And, and they were a little bit acerbic in there, I, I often found, you know, so like if you. Oh, yeah put some comment in there was some narky expat that was there kind of almost virtue signaling all the time yeah it's i didn't find early, it very, very early virtue yeah. signaling what what's the internet very like? earnest yeah that's right and it's like you know what's the internet like in central portugal 5g is going to kill us it was that kind of thing wasn't yeah. it they're like can someone yeah i got i got i got really schooled on um like wanting to have internet in the house by by somebody who didn't know me at all and i was like oh. And, yeah. and you watch TV and eat meat as well. You have no business in this group. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's a little bit of a caricature. I'm sorry. No, Pure Portugal, yeah. absolutely wonderful. They, and they, they were very helpful as well. You know, I learned a lot of great yeah, stuff. And they there. can't be held responsible for some of the extreme views expressed in their Facebook group, which is, of <laughs> course, something all of us who host groups have to deal with. That yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Right. So committing and connecting, I would say those are the first two steps, the first two C's there. Then there's the consultation. And as I said before, you know, you have to find the approach to working with professionals or not to suit your own personal needs, tastes, and budget, of course. And uh, that's how we roll here. We work with, we like to work with everybody and share everybody's propositions. And then you make the decision for yourself who you want to consult with. So whether it's migration, real estate, the legal side, whatever it is to do with moving to Portugal, our job here, I think, is to introduce you to those people who you might not otherwise find um, and and you make your own decision. You know that's that's how I, that's how I like uh, Good Morning Portugal to be a, a broad church, if you like, of different views, of different capabilities, different professionals, and and everyone's capable of making their own choice with that. Um, whether it's a one stop shop approach like Expats Portugal, where you where you want everything taken care of for you, and pe some people do, and some people have a great experience with that, or whether it's you're the sort of person who wants to do everything yourself. Um, uh, you might have a limited budget, for example, and you want to do everything yourself, or you might have loads of money and do, still want to do everything yourself. There are people who can help you with various parts of that. We bring them to you. We stick them up on the on the tee and you knock them down the fairway. Not literally, of course. And uh, the final C in my 4C approach here is the conversion of you got you got to remember at some point because uh, they don't take dollars here still um, to rock up here with your dollars and it's not going to go down especially well 
um, you need to do the conversion and our, our recommendation always, of course, when we talk with Sarah at Spartan FX is to do that sooner rather than later. It's not like going on holiday. You can just pop down the travel age. Do you remember that, Mrs. M? Going back, yeah. Yeah. talking of 30 years ago again, how did you go about getting your French francs? How did you do that? Um, yeah, I just got some before I left. I, I went Where to the though? Where though? You didn't have a car, oh, I went to the did post you? Office. Yeah. No, no, no. Um, and then when I got there, I just had to, uh, you know, I earned a living there. Um, yeah. 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 And you got and you got ten francs pretty much to the pound back in those days before yeah. the euro, didn't you? And you yeah. could get you you could get them from the post office, like you said. Or you could get them from the bank. Uh, and now you can do it all online, and you can get cards, yeah. you can get Revolut, and you can get Wise multi currency cards. It's quite amazing the difference now. Certainly a lot more convenient. But you've got to do that. Um, transferring your your dollars or your pounds or whatever other your Canadian loonies or your South African rand that can all be done with uh, Spartan FX, who we like to work with, and of course who make it nice and easy for you. So anything you want to say about that first level, then the basics. Commit connect consult and convert have i missed anything there mrs m um <laughs> can i think of another c <laughs> can you? um <laughs> it's interesting you were talking about alliteration with james not too long ago i love that actually it's easy isn't it commit connect consult convert yeah um i like it it does like convert it. I think sounds so. possibly a little bit religious at the end doesn't it <laughs> yeah it does <laughs> I, yeah. I was wondering what you I, I thought you were going to convert people into like selling it for you <laughs> like, Good idea. like a Thank pyramid scheme yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll write that down <laughs> yes how about that moving to Portugal network marketing style with Good Morning Portugal yes you too can be a platinum field commander on level one and make $5,000 a week yes great idea thank you for that I knew it was a great idea to ask you about this and then there's the extras. There's our new news and information area for those people who find 90 minutes a day, talking of commitment, if um, coming to the Good Morning Portugal show every morning is a bit too much, we now have, uh, talking of migration light, we have Portugal news light over at news and information, aka learnaboutportugal.com. We also have the Portugal Club, which is uh, for those who need an extra little bit of hand-holding or who are, uh, who are going out of their way above and beyond uh, the normal involvement and wanting to do some pretty special stuff and become extraordinary mm -hmm. expats. We had a great meeting last night, for example. Every Tuesday, uh, we have a check-in at eight uh, for those people who, who might uh, benefit from that, especially if you're uh, in, in the States or over in the UK still and you're working on your plans and you want to check in with other people who are on the same path. We do that every yeah. Tuesday at eight. And then at 8.30, you have a special guest. Now, last night, um, we had Jason on who was talking about um a way of recognizing the fact that we that, that, that us as foreigners are about one in ten of the population and how we mm. might how we might manage that in you know going forward it was a really good discussion thank you for to those of you who were there last night for that and the best idea i think we came up with are some how-to guides you know so to veer away from the politics you know we had we had some really good insight on this this whole thing about you know how foreigners can be blamed for some of the problems that are going on in the country mm -hmm. well um nuna who joined us to talk about that said you know that's politics Pol politics can mm -hmm. make things look bigger and more ugly than they actually are have you had have you experienced that yourself he asked us and he told us this lovely story of um being at sporting lisbon it, it, it i really welled up when he told this story last night he was a um a sporting lisbon match with his dad and a, an old Spanish gentleman had found himself in the sporting Lisbon fan end or enclosure or part of the ground. And when the Spanish team who sporting Lisbon were playing in some sort of European tournament scored, <laughs> he was the only one, this old Spanish guy was the only one to stand up and go, yes, go! <laughs> and of course, among loads of sporting Lisbon fans, he was, the, he was as, about as welcome as a fart in a spacesuit, basically. And two sporting fans started to abuse this old gentleman, you know, t telling him, give, reading him his fortune, if you like, in no uncertain terms and being quite abusive towards him. And then, do you know what happened, Mrs. M? Everyone piled in to soothe it and to stop it. Absolutely. The sporting fans turned on these two reprobates among them, their fellow fans, and told him to wind it in and leave the old guy yeah. alone supporting his team. And that, yeah. to me, is a, such a beautiful 
illustration of what oh, it's the humanness that Michael Whitby was talking about mm -hmm. earlier on. That's what people are really like, isn't it? Underneath it all, underneath yeah. all of that, that's what people are really like. And occasionally we just have to be reminded of that. And, and that was a beautiful reminder of it. So that's yeah, the political thing can seem inflamed and over exaggerated. And actually, our experience of being in Portugal is great. We don't we're not getting that sort of pushback. And a great way we thought, okay, let's get away from the politics and more into the practical and come up with some guides on how to engage locally, how to not, more great. than just chucking a few coins in the bucket for the Bomberos, get involved, actually get involved mm. with the local association, whether it's the Bomberos culture or, or whatever. I'm a very aware. Well, yeah, I'm, like um, tomorrow, I mean, tomorrow there's um the, let me just, I sent the details to you. There's the Christmas fair locally. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's, um, let me just see if I can find it. Um, so for people in this Silver Coast area, um, you might want to go to Jacqueline Branco's um, Christmas fair. I'm just trying to find the details. Hmm. Maybe we'll talk about it on the I'll show share tomorrow. That again tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm aware that it's two minutes. Are you still there? Barefoot, I can't hear you. It's, it's two minutes until barefoot broadcast mm -hmm. time. I mean, yeah, there's loads of. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to say goodbye now. Um, and rush okay. down and make myself a drink. <laughs> well, okay. I think <laughs> I'll go off the I think, but, I think um, your yeah, feedback is very Yeah, thanks for having me on. Yep. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, yes. I mean, it, it's it's a it's a really vast thing that you really cover um, in so many different ways. And the support that I see that you really do well is um, helping with the continuity of um sort of helping people feel at home, make it, you've created a safe space for people to ask questions and to connect and to um, be reassured. I, I really see that the handholding is is one of the really big things that, that you um, create the time and space for. And I see the power in that. I mean, if we'd have had, I mean, we probably still wouldn't have used our own services because we like to struggle like Muppets, don't we? <laughs> Um, and also we've never like been flush with loads of money before, not at that time, you know, when we're moving, but yeah. I think, you know, if you, if you want a bit more reassurance, then I think what you offer is really good.